Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today is an update on the elevator that I'm building. And I just made a video a couple hours ago, as you can see on the clock. Um, but we have since made some improvements and also worked towards the final product. Anyway, I have the down sequence here. So this will take the elevator down. It's actually much easier to make and much simpler than the up sequence here, which I may go into uh, at a later date. I'm currently working on call buttons, sorry, not call buttons, uh, buttons within the elevator. Um, this is right now uh, exclusively to the top floor and the uh, fourth floor here uh, from the first floor, uh, but more will be added as you know time passes. Um, and with that comes um, cloning uh, buttons for visual um, as like aspects. So uh, the button will turn a certain color when it's pressed and this little square will get filled in as you can see. And then on the up sequence, there are command blocks added here and a little bit lower over here. Anyway, we are going to be going to test this out. Um, this is my sign generator. Um, I had to actually backtrack a couple of versions because uh, they removed the ability to make clickable signs in the game. So that sucks, but it's all good. Let's go in here. And as you can see, we have the button ready for us. And when I click this, it'll turn pink and the elevator will go up. So just like before, we're going to get swallowed by... Actually, we're not going to get swallowed. We are going to swallow this elevator up here, this copy that I made. And since the visual has only been applied to the bottom copy the elevator the button actually disappears but uh with that change this works now and i'll tell you what we can actually um change that right now uh because it won't take very long all right so i'm gonna go over here and this is a extension to the sneak peek um if i want every elevator to um to have this uh, pH button uh, lit up. I'm gonna put it on these other copies of the elevator and this clone actually matches the position uh, where the elevators are stored. So this makes it really easy to edit um, signs and you know clone them in and out and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, it's one of the techniques. Anyway, we're going to clone this guy um, a couple times. So we don't actually need to uh, use this sign we can just use command so we're going to clone this coordinate into uh i believe it matches it right here yeah let's see if that matches up yeah it does all right let's do that again and actually we can do it twice again so let's here let's do this i'm going to clone up to this y level which is negative 11 and then we're going to go up here and since the um they line up like this. I'm going to change this to Y11, and then I'm going to change this to uh, whatever, zero, zero Y level. And this should update it twice. And since it all matches up, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to do it one more time up here. And I don't want a floating pH in the middle of nowhere. So we're just going to do it like that. And then boom. Now I have all of the pH buttons that are lit up in this copy. Um, now, the way we're doing the cloning, this uh, column of elevator blocks will exclusively be a pH lit up column. We can just label it like that. This is for, you know, safekeeping. This will be the um, functional buttons. These are all the buttons that work. Um, and I don't need to isolate them, but I will isolate these guys. And then this guy, I'm going to move him over here um, for... Uh, I don't know, space, because I have a lot of space here. Um, on purpose, obviously, because uh, we're going to expand that way. Maybe. If, if I don't need it, I will just patch it up again. It doesn't matter. Anyway, if I reset the elevator to the first floor by doing this, and then go back here, and then go in here, let's see if the pH will stick with us. Um... And by the way, pH stands for penthouse, so that will hopefully be established with, I don't know, a cool balcony on this 
cool elevator shaft. Okay, we are approaching the second floor. We'll see if it sticks around, and it does. So, it, the clone has changed, but we added the signs to the panels on all the floors. So now, this will stick around. And once again, we're going to eat up the top elevator. Once the elevator becomes fully functional and I'm not duping processes, then uh, we won't eat it up anymore. For now, we are. Okay. That's an issue. I forgot one of the floors. Maybe I don't even have it cloned that way. Okay. That's kind of an issue. Um, let's just make a clone real quick. So I'm going to do that by cloning. Let's see. I want to clone one more floor. I'm going to clone the last block of air because they can't overlap, sadly. Um, but this should do the trick. Boom. Never mind. That did not do any tricks. Let me, um, let me change the... Let me see if I can change the y coordinates on these. I gotta do some like math. Wait, did it work? Never mind. It did work. I just didn't look high enough. Okay. Awesome. So I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same here because I don't wanna do this later. And uh, now we know there's an error. Oops. Uh, too high. Let's do it down here. Now I wanna get rid of these guys because. They might screw me up in the future on accident. All right. So all of that is settled. Hopefully the clone reaches that height level. Let's see. So I have a clone somewhere here. And I think 47 blocks is enough. Let, let, let's see. So 47 from negative 23 is... I believe 24, um, yeah, 24, positive 24, um, and I'm going up, and no, it's not enough, so I'm gonna actually turn this into, now it's 35, so I can add 11 to, um, 11 to this coordinate, so this will become 58, and I think that's the only clone I have right now, at least at the panel. Alright, let's run this back one more time. I'm gonna do the same process with um, turning my music off and then um, copying the elevator onto the first floor. Okay, let's teleport up there right now. It's back. All right. Do this. Do this. Um, skip ahead 20 seconds because this elevator ride will take a little bit and I'm not editing this video, so. But if you wanna stick around, um, the next process we're going to be doing, well, first of all, we're going to finish all these buttons. Um, and since the penthouse is at the top of the elevator mechanism, I don't need to create any um, like execution exceptions with the commands. But once we get to floor 4, 3, 2, and uh, even the rear door, I will have to make exceptions um, for commands to follow through. But that's not too hard, and I will show you guys how I'm doing that uh, sometime in the future. Dang it. All right. That didn't work. Um, let's go down here. Okay, so... Yeah, there's... There's that. Um, actually, who am I kidding? I'm, I'm a little stupid. Um, it's... Oh, my... F fudge. Okay. Um... I realize that it's not going to fill in because I have a command block here that literally gets rid of it. Uh, where would that be? That would be um, that would be here. This command gets rid of the of the visual because I want it to be reset by the time we reach the top, so that people can ride the elevator back down. I do all this, do all that. Um, I could make it more realistic where the button doesn't go out for three seconds and then the door opens, but I'm not going to worry about that right now, especially because I haven't built this, pro I haven't like worked on a project like this in like, what, it was like three years or something like that. Anyway, 
So in the future, this will get cut out. Um, but I need to add buttons to the top copy of the elevator, which doesn't have any, um, as, as I, as I removed earlier, but none of these do, so that's why I removed it. Um, with that being said, I'm sorry for wasting everybody's time, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned for more. Peace.